Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to convert a percent to a decimal. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, convert each percent to a decimal. We have A is one, uh, the first one, 135 percent, and part B is 12.5 percent. There's the true way to do this, and then there's a quick way at the end, I'll show you. So we'll do the true way, what it really means, and I'll show you the quick way to answer this question. The first one here, 135%. We first need to write this as a fraction. 135% is 135 over 100. Then we need to do some long division. We got a fraction, 135 over 100. That's the same thing as 100 goes into, right, 135. Well, can 100 go into 135 one time? Long division here. 1 times 100, 100, subtract the 2. 135 minus 100, we get a 35. Let's put a decimal place here, decimal place here, and put a 0. Oh, and bring it down, sorry. Can 100 go into 350? Let's me 3 times. 3 times 100, 300. Subtract it again, we get a 50. 350 minus 300 is 50. But another 0, bring it down. Sorry, it doesn't go here. Uh, no, it did go there. Sorry, that was right. Bring down zero. 100 into 500. That's going to be five times. Five times 100 is 500. Subtract the two, we get a zero. So 135 over 100 is equal to 1.35 as a decimal. All right, so let's go deal with part B, 12.5%. We can write this as a fraction, and that's a, well, 12.5 over 100. So we'll have to do some long division here. Normally we would, you know, for simpler, find the fraction, multiply the numerator and denominator by 10, but we're just going to be dividing here, so don't worry about that. 100 goes into 12.5 here. Well, like 125. 100 goes into 125 right here, one time. Put a 1 here, don't forget the decimal, put a 0. 1 times 100, 100. Subtract the 2, 125 minus 100, we have 25. Add a zero, bring it down, right here. 100 goes into 250, two times. Two times 100 is 200. Subtract the two, 250 minus 200 is a 50. Another zero, bring it down. 100 goes into 500, five times. Five times 100, 500. Subtract the two, and we get a zero. So 12.5 over 100 is the same thing as 0.125. All right, we got our answer here, oh, and here as well. What about the quick way to do this? We take the 135%, put the decimals right here, and let's move it to the left two spots. One, two. So 1.35 would be my decimal answer. Same thing here, we have a 12.5%. The decimal place, move it to the left two spots. One, two, right here. We have 0 0.125 as our decimal answer, which we got. So our final answer here is 135% as a decimal is 1.35, and 12.5% as a decimal is 0.125. Hope you learned something here on how to convert a percent to a decimal. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.